and today we are here at Nassau Coliseum for the Electrify Expo. We are here with the CEO of Spar Cycles, Matt. We are so excited. This is the first place that we came to see because we wanted to see all the new stuff that is coming up. All right, I'll give you a little overview and I'll, I'll tell you a couple new surprises on this batch. So the timing of the Electrify Expo has been crazy. We just got our batch of frames in last week. And so it's been like a mad dash to get stuff ready. So we built about 10 bikes up for the show so people could take them home, which is a big deal because if you look at a lot of other companies right now, their lead times are like October. So right now, if you want a bike, you can take that home. It's pretty awesome. So in terms of what's new and what's going on, so this is the Bandit. We've been building the Bandit, or working on it since 2018. Um, it's not considered an e-bike. So it's right between an e-bike and a motorcycle. So it's considered a moped. And what does that mean? It just means it's got a bigger motor, right? So it's got a two horsepower motor, so it's 1,500 watts. Um, and it can go about 35, almost 40 miles an hour. The battery. What's that? So, so this is the new model. Well, oh, this so, is like a new version of the of the system model. So one thing that we do that's a little different is um, we don't say like this is the 2018 Bandit, 2019 Bandit. It's just always been the Bandit, and we've always been improving it. We don't really say like generations. We just kind of say this is the Bandit, and uh, well, when'd you buy it? Okay, well, let's think. Okay, we had those specs at that time. So we have a more of a continuous improvement model rather than saying, oh, sorry, you bought the 2020 model. You should have waited for 2021 kind of yeah. stuff. You know, People don't have to have that worry about, oh, man, should I wait till next year for the next one to come out? Yes. It's always getting better. And not only that, but we try to design the bikes so that you can do the updates that were on the newer models, things like that. Um, we also will do like a grace period. So we haven't even announced really publicly. We're going to do that probably now and with a few other people, what the updates are on this version. Um, but what we do is we backdate. So for the past two months, the people who have been buying our bikes already had the new version, they didn't know it. So they've been getting the bikes oh, wow. and they're saying, hey, my battery voltage is reading really high. What's going on? And we're like, you just got the new one. You didn't even know it. I noticed that you have a special program where you can go into the shop and you can build your own bike. Yeah. Can you tell us about that yeah. experience? So what people need to realize is we're a really tiny team. We only build about 300 bandits a year, so a lot of care goes into every one of them. Um, it's not like the other bigger companies who are doing 20,000 units a year. We're really, really small, really specialized. And so what you get with that is just a different customer experience. And one thing that we can offer is you can come by our shop and build it with us. So on checkout, you have the option to have it shipped to your house or you have the option to pick it up built, or now you can build it with us. So if you select the build, build the bandit, um, we schedule a time and you come and we take the whole eight hour day to build that bike with you. A lot of people have been doing it. We're doing like one a week right now. So it's like, that is so awesome. it's been I, fun. I, I know a friend of mine who did uh, a custom bike. It's called the Horny Bandit. And that thing is like the talk of the town. Like everybody recognized the bike, not the guy riding the, but but the bike. It's, it's like his own monster. And it's because of these guys. These guys are awesome. So if you want to start on this side, so this is a, I'll just do every little kind of difference that's going on. The front fork. So if you look on the, the lower portion here, um, on our old fork and probably 99% of the companies around here, this piece, it's a standoff bracket where you mount your caliper. So these are 203 uh, discs, so they're the biggest discs we can do on here. And normally what happens is you have to add this standoff to add that caliper. We now have an entire cast piece. This is one unit. And then the caliper is attaching to it. So that's really, really important because what was happening is this was a bracket. You can look at the older bikes to see it. And this would loosen up over time. Right? So this unit would loosen up over time and then we get more brake sound and you have to do it. So this is way more rigid and way better. This is way better. So that was one change that you made? Yeah, okay. uh, one change. Another change, this is a funny one. So one of the unforeseen problems we never expected, turn signals. The number of people that dump their bikes 
and break their turn signals was crazy. I'd say like over 50% of people were calling us saying, I broke a turn signal. We just didn't expect that. And so we now have these, these like breakaway ones, right? Oh, wow, so that, that's so cool. <laughs> that just pulls off and it can just pop right back in. And not only that, hold on. Other than being hardwired in, like every other turn signal, we now use little quick connects. So you can just feed it through and you're good to go. Like, so even if the breakaway doesn't work, let's say you break it here yeah. somehow, you can still just pop in a new one and you're good to go. So I'll do that later. But the biggest thing, um, the biggest difference is right there. So we've been getting asked this for a long time and uh, it's, it's now happening. It's the whole bike is running on 52 volt. So that's a 52 volt, 25 amp hour battery. So it's about 15% bigger than the old one. Uh, so if you look at the old batteries, the old battery was about that tall. So there's a whole other line of cells on the top. Um, and it's in a higher voltage. So 52 volt, 25 amp hour battery, 52 volt controller, 52 volt motor. So, so more range. Uh, right, so when, you, when we're talking about voltage, a lot of people just say, oh, it's 52 volt. It's faster, it's faster, it's faster. It is faster, but not like crazy fast. It's more about the efficiency of the system. So when you're trying to push the same amount of watts, if you're running on a 52 volt, you can push less amps out. And when you run less amps, the whole system runs cooler, it's more reliable and it's more efficient. So it's, it's more akin to saying, my car gets 30 miles per gallon instead of 25 miles per gallon, right? So, 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 so you thought about the technology behind uh, improving the, the instead of just like putting the numbers and saying this is bigger. Yeah, sure. You, well, you have to, right? Because we have to make sure that everything is going to work together. Um, so one of the other things, if we're going to do that, we're still using the same frame. So you're going to see the rear ends. We now reinforce the whole rear ends with these quarter inch thick stainless steel dropouts. So if you look at a lot of other companies, we're seeing more and more companies put these big motors in and then they keep the same frame and it just rips out that rear end. And so this not only protects the dropout, but it's also protecting the brake caliper. Because if you're moving 40 miles an hour, that needs to be reinforced too. How's, uh, so how's your inventory? Can people go to your website and order a bike right now? Or this is something that is on pre-order? Right. So like I said before, we're, we're very low volume people because uh, our team is so small. But yeah, so we have you know, these 10 that are built up at the show, um, but also at the shop, we have enough inventory to probably make another, I think about 65, maybe 70 bikes. Um, okay, so but, be, sure, be sure if you want one of these bikes, you go ahead yeah. and go to the website, which is... Uh, uh, SparkCycleWorks.com, right? Um, but yeah, if as far as lead times go, we're still trying to dig ourselves out of some pre-orders. So I would expect about a two week, maybe two and a half week lead time. That's good. But m most people are doing crazy customization. So if you buy a bike that is like <laughs> double battery, different tires, expect our, some more our time. camera guy, that's what he's doing. Yeah. <laughs> expect to have us a little bit more time, right? Um, but yeah, that's that. The, the bike's been doing good. Um, I guess the only other thing I would tell you is uh, a lot of people are probably asking about uh, Project Javelin. What's going on with that? That's a, yes, I was going to ask you about that. This, that's, a, that's a concept bike that uh, uh, Mac has been working on for a really long time, right? Yeah. So he's been riding with that bike every time he goes into a group ride. Yeah. So, so, so what's the update on, on that yeah. bike right now? So I'll, I'll give you a couple really fun updates. Um, so I finished designing Prototype 2 as of last week, um, and it's now out for machining. So within a week or so, we should get the parts back and I'll be able to weld the whole frame and uh, get it assembled. We have a custom battery that is getting built for us. So that should be coming in soon too and a custom motor as well. Um, the controller is not custom and that's gonna be an exciting thing to talk about. It's a standard off the shelf controller. Um, and so yeah, prototype two, we should be able to show honestly like within a few weeks. How, how close? The look of the bike is gonna is gonna be from the prototype to the final product. 
So from the first prototype we showed to the next one, I think people are going to be like, what the heck happened? <laughs> It's going to be different. <laughs> yeah, there are hints of the old prototype, but the new pr the new bike is just radically different. Just okay. radically different. Um, essentially what happened was we had initially planned to make the first bike and then wait about a year and a half to come out with an updated version because there was just so much work that needed to get done. And we ultimately just said, screw it. Let's just do it and make the second one now. So that's why we had to delay. We said, we're going to do like two months of grinding and get that bike that we really want done. So that comes out. Wow, so, awesome. yeah. So the next, the next prototype will be as close to the final model as possible. So what I'm going to tell you is we're working on a really interesting idea of how to launch the bike. And we're going to be open to a lot of ideas here. We're really small. But the current concept is to do a sort of Willy Wonka thing. All right? So the idea is this. Close. The idea is this. We're going to build this final, or the second prototype. It's going to be the last prototype. And then we're going to build five beta bikes. And then we're going to do some type of competition. And we're going to give away those five beta bikes. And the only condition is if you get one of those beta bikes, you're going to be working with us for three months because we want those people to ride them into the ground and see what's going to break on them, All right? Fix everything that's breaking, finalize the design, and then launch it. So if that kind of gives you an idea, timeline-wise, of where we are with the bike. My guess is we will be able to finish prototype two within the next few weeks and then uh, do that five-bike giveaway within a month or so after that. So I think realistically, the bike could be ready for the spring, easy, you know. So is this yeah. uh, Elon Musk time or your the real time? No, this is legit. No, this is legit. <laughs> we're, we're gonna be like five years. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> oh man, like, uh, thank you so much for showing your your company, the bikes, what's coming next. I'm I'm really looking forward uh, to that launch and to and to see what you guys do because if there's one thing that this company is different than the other ones, it's is the creativity and the technology that they use. They really focus on the details. And, and I cannot wait to pre-order one of these bikes. Uh, the customer service is always good. You, you, you're always gonna talk to somebody that's gonna help you right away. Again, this is a small company. Hopefully they stay the same way as they grow because this company is, is, is going up. This is, this, is, this is one of my favorite uh, company right now. So I, I'm really happy that I got the chance to talk to you. Uh, and thank you for giving us the opportunity uh, here in Frantic TV to showcase uh, your company. Thank you so much. For, and, and now we're going to write. <laughs> All right? <laughs>
riding that bike. So we're saying to the industry, like literally step up your game because that's where the industry is gonna go. Ultimately, think of snowboarding, skateboarding, it all went into freestyle and think of the pinnacle of those videos, right? They're all at the top, like they're, you know, surfing for example. They're gonna show you the best riding, the, what those boards can do, but most people aren't gonna be doing that every day, right? So what will be the category for that? So, would, would, that would that be like so BM, we're gonna call BMX like a, or kind or of mountain BMX bike. mountain bike? Okay. We're gonna get the free ride category is what we're calling it. Okay. So it's pretty much anything you can think of, street, dirt, you know, skate park, dirt park, yeah, you know, you could do wheelies, <laughs> you know, do urban commuting on it, have a little fun on your way to work, you know, you know, jump off a few stair sets or just, you know, jump off the curb or anything you really want to do, wall rides, it, it, you know, the world is your oyster in that, in that perspective with that bike. And, you know, while when you look at it, it may not like loudly speak that, and that's kind of the point too. It's a little bit more stealthy, so you can, you know, easily get into an area where, you know, a security guard might say, hey, like, what are you doing? But you could probably sit there for a while, check out your, you know, scope the spot and then, and do what you want. Is, it, is this is something that is already uh, for production or this it's is something? We're already, we already finished production actually. So we're doing a pre-order right now because it's literally coming to us right now. And then um, as soon as we get them, we're going to ship them out. We have a pre-order discount for them right now. Um, it's a pretty good deal. It's online, you know, at onyxmotorbikes.com. Um, but once that pre-order discount is over, it's going to be the full retail price. Uh, but also to speak to the new bikes, you know, since we have the RCR and the CTY, which we've had for a while, those are more, you know, extreme level right now hero of flagship bikes. Uh, they go, you know, the RCR goes up to 55, 60 miles an hour. You know, it's got a very long range. The CTY can get in anywhere from 40 to 45. The, Some C people, the CTY is, for people that don't know, is the one that has the slanted. It's the step through, like, yes, the step through uh, model. Battery, like goes Yeah, down. yeah, step through model, easier access, more nimble, lower to the ground lower center of gravity um, and so that particular bike is a lot of fun and actually we're seeing reports of some people getting up to 50 miles an hour GPS I don't know what they're doing to it but they're reprogramming it because you can easily with our bikes we, we are all open access open source so you get the app you can modify it to your liking yeah, yeah, that's know that. <laughs> uh, yeah so you can just do whatever you want you know add a big battery into it you know up the controller make it make it super fast because we actually when we give you the bike it's only like a 50 percent and that still gets you to 55 and all that torque but if you want to increase the torque it's insane it's like literally like a shotgun going off between your legs all right so so thank you so much yeah. there all right okay, thank you this is your other model right yeah yeah that's, that's a new model. one that's, that's, the, that's the one I Guys, we got here a legend. If you want to ride gas bikes, this is the guy for you. Yes. <laughs> if you want to ride an e-bike, let's go. If you want the smoke and the noise, this is your guy. If you, if you want the smoke, turn that camera around, and that's the smoke burner right there. <laughs> So this, this is very much for a, a, dur a durable distance ride. Um, it's all aluminum, so if you live on the beach, if you live at the beach, then uh, this one will not rust. Um, it'll take you anywhere you want to go on the island, pretty much. Um, all off an overnight charge. We got a, actually, we got a guy in Texas that uh, uses, he's got, lives in about 45 acres of property. Oh, wow. And he simply uses it, yeah, he simply uses it to go get his mail, uh, just check his property, <laughs> like he just got so much land. But that's exactly what this is for. It's the Overland. These are charge ports, right? Yes. Yep. Absolutely. So if you had two batteries, you would charge one or the other, or is it double charging? You could you could charge them at the same time. Yeah, absolutely. And then we also have, um, well, this one charging? this one doesn't have it. It's not on. Uh, we have we we started adding magnetic strips, oh. um, so you could put your phone on. Now you got a GPS. Now, if you're doing DoorDash, yeah. you can see where you're going. Yeah. You can buy the saddlebags to put your meals in to deliver them to, to customers along. The, and then you could you could do DoorDash all the way to Montauk and then get off and stay for the night because you made <laughs> enough money to afford the nice place, you know? <laughs> right? Yeah. So, you know, to each their own. About 70% of this bike, the parts are manu are made right in North Carolina, which is where we're, we're out of. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we're trying to get as much as we can made in America. Uh, the handlebars, the seats, the frame, all North Carolina American made. So uh, because there's no pedals though, this would be a moped or a motorcycle? This is a class, well, in, in North Carolina it's class three moped. In New York it's considered class two moped, um, oh, wow. which means you don't need to have a motorcycle license to jump on this and ride. Wow. 
Um, you simply need a license. You do need to get it registered. Yeah. Uh, but beyond that, um, you can you can take this right on the right on the street there. That's amazing. How much does this thing weigh? It's a good question. And if I had the right answer, I'd tell you. Um, I would, I would imagine why don't you get on it and see what it feels yeah, like? Just you know. Yeah, and it's yeah. smooth too. It's all electric, so when you're riding, you can actually hear yourself think because it makes no sound, yeah. you know, no yeah. noise. It feels very substantial. It's safe. It's protective. And, it's, and that's genius. Yeah. That's very very smart because I, I I know a lot of people who uh, sometimes if you get into the wrong crash, you can, this will save you from losing your foot. This is You'll have to thank David on that one. He's our product designer. He's the one that thought of all of these thank different you. features. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> and if you wanted to ride them too, we actually have this model over at the demo booth. Amazing. Go ahead and take it on the test track. Definitely. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, we are here at the test track here at the Electrify Expo. There's a lot to look at, so let's go check out what we got here. I'm seeing a lot of cargo bikes, a lot of very, very nice mountain bikes, but check this thing out. Look at that scooter. Look at those big tires. That thing... Awful. Don't get it. Not, not, not an officially sanctioned bike. Where were we? Oh, so uh, Felix says that he was gonna hang a hot dog from the ceiling, and we were gonna. Uh, I don't know anything about that. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> oh, you want the lady in the tramp hot dog? Yeah, he says he wants us to do that, but. Where'd you hear about that? Dog. Huh? Without the hot dog. Without okay. The hot dog. Yeah, no hot dog. Wait. Well, so if that means there'll be two hot dogs involved, but. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Ready? All right. We're gonna we're gonna take it away. You guys go have fun. <laughs> Ladies okay. and gentlemen, we really appreciate you guys checking in. We're gonna be doing a lot more debauchery over here at the test track. We'll see you guys soon. I you were gonna say something else. <laughs>